Hello, welcome to another You Ask, I Answer. Nick, how does facsimile impact demands and pricing on keys? I have gotten this question quite a few times in the past few months. And um, let me give you my thoughts on this. Once again, it's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong and it won't bother me one bit. First up though, facsimile. <laughs> when does that term start to be used for reprints? Because that's what they are. Okay, I, does it matter if someone called it a reprint or facsimile or whatever? I just thought it was odd, thought out of the blue the term facsimile start to become something that people have thrown around instead of reprint. Does it sound better than reprint? I don't know. Does it matter? Not one bit. I just thought that was odd. Do I think facsimile impact price and demand on keys? Okay, here we go. When I come down to this hobby, especially for keys, as key collectors become more dominant, instead of runs collector there are three major group let me give you the outline of each group and how i feel it impact the demand of these keys okay you have those that want the keys but can't afford the keys okay that's group that's the bottom group that probably is the largest group okay a lot of people like big keys. A lot of people like to have, you know, Amazing Fantasy 15. But a lot of people can't afford five figures books, right? I'm not insulting anybody by saying that, yeah? And then you have the middle group. The, the middle group is smaller, okay? Think of it like a big pyramid as well, okay? So you got the, the large group below. A lot of people love to have Amazing Fantasy 15 can't afford it and you have the middle group where there are those that can afford it but may not want to spend that kind of money on a comic book okay so that, that's the middle group and then you have the the third group the higher up absolutely can afford it not a big deal chump change for those guys or those collectors um the question is do they want that key it's not can they afford the keys okay so now is there more than three absolutely i'm just trying to summarize into the three groups that are easier to explain instead of give you everything from a to z right so those are the three uh group of buyers in this pyramid now if you can't afford to spend four or five figures on an Amazing Fantasy 15, does a facsimile for 395 or whatever it is they're charging change the demand of the market because you can buy a facsimile for 395 instead of having a copy that's cost you five figures? Does that change the demand whatsoever for that tier of collectors my guess zero right if you can't afford the book doesn't have the means to buy the book having a facsimile is nice nothing wrong with that there are tons of those books circulating i saw them a lot of people, a lot of people bought them some people even have the real books still buy them right so a strong demand for those facsimile copies. It does not change those that cannot afford a copy. Not one bit. Now, to the second group, those that can afford the book, but it's not a priority for them to own the book, okay? They may have $10,000 to spend on a comic book, but for whatever reason, they feel that there's better thing to spend the 10000 than to buy a comic book. 
whether to buy a car or take a nice family vacation does a facsimile copy satisfy the needs of these collectors my hunch once again is no because you have the money certainly buying a facsimile is nice but it would not satisfy the desire that you want a real copy and you have the money so if you really want it you buy it having a, uh, a facsimile is nice but for those that think I'm wrong in this group let me know if you are in that group if you are in that tier that I just described those that can afford to spend ten thousand dollars but somehow because you see Marvel is reprinting offering facsimile that you say to yourself hey I'm not gonna spend ten thousand I'm gonna pay three ninety five for a, a reprint and I'm cool with that let me know if you are one of those that think that way but for me I just don't see that okay I just don't see that tier of collectors say yeah I have the money I don't really want to spend ten thousand dollars but if I buy that 395 it will satisfy the craving I just don't see that okay so now let's go to the top tier those that have money to burn those that can easily afford five figures do you think any one of those would change the demand or desire to buy an Amazing Fantasy 15 because they can have a facsimile? Just like the bottom tier, okay? To me, the top tier and the bottom tier is very clear as far as what the intention and desire and motive. Those that have money to burn will buy the Amazing Fantasy 15 and pay the five figures or whatever it is it will cost to get a copy would they buy a facsimile to enjoy because most likely they buy a slab right sure but that would not change one bit on how they approach acquiring that slab so the top the bottom negate that okay so all you have left is a middle tier the one that may have the money may have the means to buy the book but they may not want to spend that kind of money on a comic book so for me because the top and the bottom is so clear that the middle tier I don't think will have much of an impact on the pricing and demand of keys if you can't afford an amazing fantasy 15 because you don't you don't have the money for a five figures book you would not participate in an auction for that book so whether the facsimile is there for you to buy to enjoy that's fine it does not impact that auction one way or another meanwhile the few player the few deep pocket players that want an amazing fantasy 15 that can afford one will duke it out in the auction and once again the facsimile copy has no bearing on their decision. If keys prices go down, it's more in general of the market. Like we have seen, I'm shooting this video uh, at the end of October, okay? Uh, last week of October, around Halloween time. So depending on when I load it, you can see the time frame. So for 2019, the market has been pretty soft for Amazing Fantasy 15 long before the facsimile copy goes out. I don't know the exact time frame that the facsimile copy of Amazing Fantasy 15 hit the market. Given when this video is shot, I just know that I just knew that I have seen a few copies of that book surface in some YouTube videos in people's halls. So it been out maybe this week or who knows when. It doesn't matter. The point is, it is fairly new. The facsimile copy of that book did not hit the market last December. 
when Amazing Fantasy 15 start to fall 20-25%. Okay, so you, same thing with Hulk 181. You can go look at the price action of Hulk 181 and facsimile copies. One, the, 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 the action of the price of that book has no correlation to when the facsimile copy came out. Okay, so yes, it's easy to say, oh yeah, facsimile can hurt the price. Show me proof. Show me the proof. You know how I am. I am all about facts and data, not conjecture and assumption and a whole lot of nonsense. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I appreciate the question. I hope my answer makes sense. Yeah? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.